You may not know this, but when the automobile was first invented, most cars on the road were electric, thanks to the nickel-iron battery of Thomas Edison. It may have been heavy, but this battery was tolerant of overcharging, undercharging, and total discharging, and had an operational lifetime of up to 90 years. Only after the internal combustion engine was made sufficiently reliable did it become a serious competitor to electric vehicles. So if electric cars have been around for so long, why haven't they generated the popular enthusiasm of their gasoline-powered contemporaries? After all, they're clean, quiet, and efficient. What more could you want in a car? Ask the average American. And they'll say, everything. Historically, America has been obsessed with its cars. Not because they're quiet or easy to maintain, but because they're big, loud, sleek, powerful, and fast. Could electric cars be all that? Most people believed no. After all, with the need for so many batteries, they were clunky, boxy, and weird. Yet there were a few people who said yes. Yes, they could be. One of these was Carl Tilly, and in 2005, he would engineer an electric car that was not only quiet and efficient, but also the epitome of cool. Carl Tilly believed that people could easily generate, collect, and store their own electricity using technologies such as windmills, solar panels, and battery storage systems. In fact, Carl Tilly built his own home to be completely self-powered and off of the electrical grid. He foresaw a day when people would use their own electricity to power both their homes and their cars. To make this dream a reality, Carl Tilly founded the Tilly Foundation with an initial focus to develop practical electric vehicles. The Tilly Foundation would engineer a number of electric vehicles, including conversions of a Pontiac SSE, an electric speedboat, an ATV, and a GMC pickup truck. However, Tilly's most famous achievement would undoubtedly be the total conversion of a DeLorean DMC-12 to all-electric drive. The Tilly DeLorean was the first of its kind to become all-electric and is also the first DeLorean to reach a top speed of 136 miles per hour. The DeLorean was an ideal choice for electric conversion because of its timeless design, spacious rear engine compartment, which was designed to accommodate 80% of the vehicle's weight, and fiberglass body construction, which reduced the risk of short-circuiting in an accident. Powered by 12 12-volt 12 lead-acid batteries for a total system voltage of 144 volts, and utilizing an FB4001 9-inch electric motor, as well as a DCP controller, the Tilly DeLorean had an effective range of 40 miles at 0.44 kilowatt hours per mile, which was quite efficient when compared with other lead-acid based electric vehicles. It was just as heavy as a stock DeLorean with a weight of 3200 pounds and used a DC charger with the plug-in to a standard 110 volt AC electrical outlet. Finally, the DeLorean came standard with automatic transmission.
like entrepreneurs Preston Tucker and John DeLorean before him, Tilly would find himself in legal troubles with the government. After a two-year litigation, all charges were dropped, except for a $250 fine for failure to register the foundation with the Securities and Exchange Commission. However, the cost of legal proceedings and mounting negative publicity forced Tilly to discontinue all development of his electric vehicles. Since 2007, the Tilly DeLorean has been purchased by a third party and is being restored and retrofitted with 21st century technology. The Pontiac SSE and GMC truck are owned by Tilly's son. Two other DeLorean owners, inspired by Tilly, have also built EV conversions of their vehicles. So like other EV pioneers before him, Tilly's company is no more, but his legacy lives on.